number 2626 is dropping in. Yeah, Chili. Okay, here's number 7. Just like 7 plate quarter bar, number 26. A long road. I don't want to ever lose my love for snowboarding. I, as long as I love to just go out and shred. And I kind of feel like my brother doesn't really love to ski the way he used to. For me, I refuse to, to tarnish skiing and turn it into a business. You'll see it a lot of times with sports or, or hobbies that are on that borderline where almost nobody started doing it as a job. It was just fun, it was just for play. It was things you did as recreational activities. They were just for pleasure. But as soon as somebody tells you you have to do it, it makes you not want to do it anymore. And there's these parts that just feels like something was taken away from you. It's hard to pinpoint what it was or what it is. And what was taken was your free will. You're no longer free to do it exactly how you want. It's being stipulated you have to do it this way. And that's a really annoying thing to have happen to something that you started off doing just because you love to do it. Racing World Cup is like so structured and he's so dedicated and so focused on ski racing that he's lost his like just love for ripping around. And I don't want to become that that focused. I mean, maybe that's the difference in between me and him. But I want to just be able to go out and shred with my boys and feel like it was when I was 13. But not because anyone's filming, not because it, we had to be there, just because it's so fun. And like, there's nothing I'd rather be doing. I think that's the thing I'm facing right now, is that that's being taken from me also. My ability to decide why I'm doing it and how I'm doing it. I refuse to let skiing be lumped into that category of things I do because I have to do them. When you have coaches and when it's like you're racing the clock, you're constantly trying to make sure, you know, it's working on different stuff like board across, you know, all right, my, you know, I'm slowing the rollers, I gotta, you know, all right, hands high, hands low, hands high, like thinking about all this stuff, like, co like coaches just make it so it feels like you have a voice in your head. Maybe I haven't been quite as successful, maybe if when I was, 15, if I wanted to just be a pipe rider, maybe I would be killing it, you know? I could have a gold medal right now, you don't know. But I wanted to just snowboard. I didn't want to just be a border crosser, just be a pipe dude, just be a slope dude. And maybe that's held me back, but I feel like, I feel like it's really just made me a better all around snowboarder. And I enjoy snowboarding more than Maybe someone who just does one particular aspect of it. Champion. One camera richer. <laughs> Keep going. That was a good line. Ran out of speed. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Stoked. So to be alive, more or less snowboarding better than I ever have, playing golf better than I ever have. Like things are all coming together, which is which is pretty sweet after the battle I went through in the last five years. It's like with all the bullshit to be where I am now is I'm definitely lucky. And I appreciate every second of every day because of all those experiences. So life is good. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna keep skiing. I, I've been on the cusp of retiring for, for four years now or so or even more. You know, I can relate to, to Brett Favre, you know, you you enjoy your sport, you dedicate your life to it, and you, you can see how it would be nice to walk away and, and try something new. Um, and then you, you walk away and there's obviously a, a big hole left where where that sport was, where, you know, especially in my case, it's, it's my main form of expression, so that was sort of, um, pretty obvious that I still had some more to give there. I think it's just for me, it's always been about striking the right balance. So, you know, if I'm happy doing it and I, you know, I feel like it's the right place for me to be at that point, then I'm going to stay doing it. If I find something else I want to do, I also am not, not afraid to, to walk away. I don't really have any regrets about, about what I've done. I don't really feel like I have much to prove. I just enjoy doing it, so I'm, I'm still doing it. I think pretty much all I want out of life is a good time. I just want to have fun and laugh and like, I'll be able to shred and 
I'll just experience as much as I can. I really enjoy the fact that I've had as many opportunities as I have. I want to look back at my life and know that I did everything I could do, you know, I don't want to have any regrets.